Hi everybody, let's continue on with the uh, kind of jumping into what I consider to be a top 10 list of core warrior beliefs. I started out in the last two really explaining the absolute beginning, the right to life, liberty, freedom, and security. I hope you start to understand that a little deeper and you have to take actions. You have to become involved in things. Your training is one of the number one ways to do it that really develop that sense of entitlement to your right to life and the fact that you contribute to this cause. You pay back in that debt. We owe people. We owe those warriors before us. You owe them something. And really it's black and white with this two types of people. You either pay on that debt or you take the free ride. Okay, that's the warriors that stand at the front and the sheep all ride in the back. You know what I mean? They hide behind one warrior and that warrior tows them along with them. Okay, warriors are different. It allows you to see the world different, act differently. Let's move into a couple other of, of that top 10 list. If you understand that right to life, liberty, and freedom, one of the other parts, I call this my part B of my absolute beginning. And the part B of the absolute beginning is simply this. Warriors are not born warriors. Understand that and believe that. I believe that with all of my heart. They're not born warriors. You don't have them come out of the womb ready to take up shield and sword. Warriors are trained, developed, and nurtured day by day, week by week, month by month, and year by year. Hear me on this. And this is an absolute conviction and certainty about this. If you train, you get good. If you don't train, you don't get good. Okay, dedicated training. You got to get in. You got to sacrifice. You got to be here for weekends. You got to bend things and move things that everybody else in the world thinks are far more important than going away to do a combat school for a weekend. You got to bend them. You got to move them. And you got to make training. That's what warriors do. Why? Because you just sit there someday and go, I got to know how to defend myself. If you don't get it on anything deeper than that, there's that feeling that you got to listen to that goes, I don't care. I don't care if I don't use this stuff for 20 years. I don't care if all my friends and family think I'm paranoid. I don't give a shit. No one understands the depths of what we're studying this stuff to. They think I'm going away to do my judo class, whatever. Let them think what they want. You got to understand. You got to know how to develop and train and nurture and grow day by day, week by week, month by month, and year by year. That's how you're going to get good. You're talking you need... 10,000 hours of dedicated training time with other warriors who have put in 10,000 hours. It takes over 10 to 15 years to hit a level where I think, and that, I mean, I'm talking dedicated, intensive training to where somebody could even begin to teach this to another human being. It takes that type of dedicated hours. You don't have to hit that type of dedication because you may never want to teach to somebody, but you got to be up around that 10,000 hour mark to really hit your stride as a world-class warrior. And that should be what you want to be. That should be your standard in this. You should accept nothing less than that. Be happy with where you're at, but never be satisfied. Warriors are nurtured, developed, and trained day by day, week by week, month by month, warrior to warrior. Okay, so that's the two, that's the second part of the absolute beginning. Another core warrior belief and value you have to have. I'm not doing these in any random order. I'm just trying to spout them off because of time limitation. You got to get this through your head. This world in certain situations requires violence. Understand that. Research it. We do not live in such an evolved society as most people would want you to believe. That's the sheep. They want to think we're, we're on the verge, the cusp of some utopian society. That would be fantastic. That would be great. That's not the reality. Let the sheep, the good people in this world, drive us and evolve us to that level. The warriors are the ones that stay behind and say, listen, you don't have to ever look back. You stand and face that way towards the sun and the utopia and you march our society there and you fight your little battles and you name call and you nail scratch and you do what you got to do. I'm a warrior. I'll always have my back to the sun and my face to the hellfire. And it's like, what I'll do is stand here and deal with those human beings or those aspects of a society that are going to fight us tooth and nail to take us there. The barbarians, the predators on the fence line. The warriors always got their face in the shit. That's the way it is. Okay? So, you have to understand that violence is part of our society. Where I'm getting is this. Violence is okay. I'm okay with violence. You got I feel that with every aspect of my core. I don't even need to temper it with when legally and morally justified because if you don't know that, you don't know me. Violence is okay. Violence is a tool and I'm really good at it. I like it. I love training it. I love talking about it. I love being around it. And that's got nothing to do with the other sides of my personality. Because I know violence and I train violence and I live in violence, I can control my violence. I'm not the guy that's bottling and suppressing is going to end up in a bell tower with a shotgun or a sniper's rifle trying to pick off kids at 500 feet. You get what I mean? 
It's like we have a vehicle to indulge in it, to sharpen it, to hone it. And I like it. Violence is good. Okay, moving along. One of the other core warrior beliefs. This is huge, man, and I want to make sure I get this in. Warriors are normal. What I just said about violence and liking and this, I'm normal. I'm not crazy. I'm not psychotic. I'm normal. Take it one step further because it's not just a matter of saying, man, you like violence. You're crazy. Warriors feel all kinds of effed up shit. We feel fear. We feel doubt. We feel anxiety. We feel, have unrealistic fears. We have all those things. If I'm standing up right now and five or six guys kick that door and are, you know, confronted me in the street and I have my family with me, there's a, an emotional distancing that would happen. There's a predatoriness in me that's ready to go. I don't care if I die. The difference is, you know what else I'm feeling? Fear, anxiety, all of those things start to come up in you. The problem is I know so many warriors that start training this and they end up in an altercation. Nothing physical happens, but it's that pre-conflict. And all of a sudden, their heart rate's going, the SNS is happening, and they get the dry mouth and stuff, and then they talk about blah, 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 and it ends up diffusing, and both parties go their own way, or they get in their car, they drive away. A mile down the road, they're racked with guilt. They're sitting there going, oh, man, my God, I was so scared. I was this, I was that. That was the SNS. You haven't been in this long enough to learn to manage your perceptions and your expectations. That's the difference. When I feel all that stuff going on, my stomach shutting down, digestion shut, I understand it's SNS. I felt it a thousand times in training. So I understand it and I can look at it then and rationalize and go, that's the way it feels. The times that I'm feeling fear and feeling self-doubt, it's like, that's combat, man. That's that resistance to interpersonal aggression. Those are all normal. And I'm like, whew, thank, thank God I trained. If I didn't train, you know how that, that fear and that anxiety would have been unmanageable. It could have killed me. But it's like, because I train, every day you train, every year you train, every time you gain more experience, you understand that your reactions are normal. I've had times and situations where there's been eight guys, eight people, and I'm sitting there and it's like, I don't feel nothing. I don't feel scared, I don't feel whatever, I'm relaxed, and all of a sudden stuff happens and you're just like, and people are down, you're like, man, this is really coming together for me. I was like, emotionally distanced and switched on. Then I have times where one guy, smaller guy, one guy, and all of a sudden it's like, you're just like, your SNS is like, you're struggling to stay in condition red. And you still do what you got to do. You know, you get out of there and you half run out of there. You know what I mean? It's like, a, it's like a pot shot and you're gone. And you're in your car on the way home. You go, what was that? I mean, I come unraveled. How with eight guys am I in, I'm barely in condition red. I'm like in condition yellow. And then all of a sudden you got one guy who's a smaller guy and you're, in, you're struggling to stay out of condition black. It's the difference is your body understands things. There is maybe a greater threat there than what you know. Your body is picking up, it's your intuition, and you learn to listen to it, and you learn that these reactions are normal. This is combat. Warriors are normal. From loving the violence, to being scared shitless, and you know, can't talk, and dry mouth, and peeing our pants, and shitting ourselves, these are normal reactions. I have seen more than one of you guys, not specific ones I'm talking to, guys like you, who were standing beside you, who started this training, who quit because they got into something, never even went physical, and they don't think they're normal. They think, oh, Greg doesn't feel that way, Paul never feels that way, those guys don't think that way. Bullshit. Warriors are normal. Learn it and understand it, because it'll kill you if you don't get it. Okay? All right, let's press on. I'll maybe get one more on this one, and I'm going to have to add you, send you another one. Um, I'll, I'll tie this up because it'll be quicker. Something I just added on to. Understand that fear is a perception. What I just talked about, all those feelings of warriors being normal, you, the, one of the most important things, this ties in with our absolute beginning, you must learn to manage your expectations and manage your fear. How you manage your fears, your perceptions, by getting the experience. Things will not rattle you when you understand them and you've been there and you've done that. That is a huge belief. Whatever you're feeling now, know that it's normal and know that you can manage it. You can control it. Whatever you think you're afraid of right now, you can learn to not be afraid of it to the point that you can handle it. You can work in it. You can thrive in it. That is a huge war, core your war concept, you know, core, core warrior belief and concept. Fear is a perception and you can control your perceptions. All right, I thought I could get more into this one. I can't, so I'm going to send you another one. Hang with me.